Can you tell the type of music that somebody listens to just by looking at them? Today we find out. Welcome back to Hive Mind Unlimited. Guessing our fans' favorite artists from their pictures. Hey, guessing, guessing our fans', fans favorite, favorite artists from their pictures. What? Guessing, guessing our fans' favorite artists from, from their pictures. pictures. It's back. It's really the only hive mind game that has a theme song, and it's one that people just remember. It's an earworm. It's a hit. It's a certified smash hit. Went number one in Indonesia. This one's simple. We asked our Patreon members to send three pictures of themselves, their name, and their favorite artist. We're going to see the name in the pictures, try to guess who their favorite artist is. Ooh. All right, this sounds fun. I've been told that I unfairly judge everybody by their looks, so I already know that I'm fully qualified for this. And you are Brad Taste in Music. Brad yeah. Taste in yes. Music, that's yes. me. Yes. Everybody subscribe. Do it! And if you want to be in the next one, Join our Patreon. This is the Patreon logo, I think. Yep, that's it is. close. Yeah. Good job. All right, here we go. Avery, let's go. So she's got a nice selfie here. Good mm -hmm. lighting. Looks like a priest. Oh yeah, you got a little <laughs> bit of the priest collar going. Yeah, you yeah, or I mean? like a college graduate too, you know. Uh, uh, the crew neck. I wouldn't yeah. know what that looks like. Yeah, me neither. I look in the mirror every single day and see a college graduate, and I say, "Hey, good job, buddy. You did that. You did it." <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Show, oh, show ooh, a little more yeah. style here. Yeah, I like the posture a lot. It's just like very chill and laid back, leaning up against the side of the house. We outside. You also got the vintage hot rod gambling tee. Mm -hmm. Roll on. I think, I'm assuming that's about like rolling the dice. Keep rolling them. Or like cars. Well, yeah, but there's dice as well. Oh, there are dice. All right, third and final picture. In the merch. In the merch. Ultimate swag. And a thumbs up. Like, I'm happy with my purchase from copes.shop. Hive mind, co Hive mind Copes collab. I'm happy with this purchase. I, I'm not too sure. The face kind of says, you know, the Hive Mind merch is fine, but I'm still waiting for the Brad Taste of Music merch. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were collabing with Versace. I hate to correct this, but it's not Versace. You're you're collaborating with Versace, the furry version. The furry, like yes, furry stuff. Versace. That's yeah. right. Yeah, and I'm very proud of that collaboration. Shout out to the furries, man. Yes, <laughs> exactly. What the hell? What? I didn't hesitate. I didn't see you hesitated. That's exactly what you did. Shout out the furries. Oh man, that. Dude. My dad cheated on my mom with the furry. Sorry if I feel a little weird about it. Wait, what kind of? What was their persona? It was a hamster. Hamster like uh, was it like a cartoon hamster? Or was it like meant to look kind of realistic proportions? Yeah, it was too that? anatomical. Ah. I feel that. Sometimes that's that's the pitfall of the furry community. Sometimes they go a little too realistic with yeah. it. Sometimes I see a furry in like a hotel bar or something yeah. and I think, holy shit, is that a fox over there? Sometimes I see a furry in a bar as well and I'm like, yo, what's up with the long face? Oh, and they're like a horse or something, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. This is a fun game because no one ever gets any right. Yeah, I don't expect to get any right. But you know what? We're going to learn uh, about, you know, you, I guess you guys are going to learn about your fans. I'm going to learn about these people who uh, hopefully are my fans as well and over at Brad Taste in Music, oh. the greatest music-related channel on the internet. What? That's a crazy thing to say over here. Our show's not even really about music. So not at cares. all. It's a fashion show, It's really. about friendship and stunting. It's yeah. about drip. And it's also about geopolitics. But mm -hmm. that's deep beneath the surface for the, the smart people to get when they watch it. You gotta read between the lines. The idiots can laugh and the smart people can think. That's what our show's about. Three, two, one. Tyler. Taylor. J-I-D. It is Tyler the Creator. What? Okay, I was gonna guess that, but I was like, all right, Tyler, you know, <laughs> academic. God damn it. I can read y'all like a book. The last time we played this game, I was an idiot. I was straight up like a child. Yeah. And I had no idea what people liked. No. And I have been studying. You have been interacting an inappropriate amount in the Patreon. Oh, I just go in there. I go, who's your favorite artist? What's your name? Yeah. And I just I write it down. I have a Who wants song. a pair of my pants? Who wants a pair of it? <laughs> You know, <laughs> toxic gossip train, yeah. you know, like that sort of shit. Yeah. Can I get out of this video? No. I don't. No, he can't get out. No, you're in the I'm... middle. That's why you're in the middle. Oh. Oh. Now we got oh. Davey. Oh, yeah. Holy smokes. <laughs> He's got the accidentally washed whites with reds fit. Yeah, these were all white before. Yeah. And now it's got just that little pink tint to I it. I like that. I like this because it's kind of like if the Energizer Bunny was in a rap video. And can we talk about the shades too? They're also like, it's got the red, like he's got the whole thing going for him. So. This looks like a James Bond villain. That's an issue though. You never want to look at life through rose colored glasses. That's wow. Yeah, there you go. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, that's a totally different vibe. I didn't know he was a real person. Way less <laughs> swag in this one. This is like when you see someone in a convincing Halloween costume and then you see a regular picture of them and you're like, yeah. and then you kind of come back around and you're like, I respect the craft to transform yourself. Mm -hmm. You should be an actor. That's what I Say. Fish! Oh, oh this is kind of, I'll, yeah, let, you, I'll okay. let you handle this whole 
Wow, so we got a fat ass rainbow trout here, it looks like. Holy shit. And what do you think about the gear here, the attire? The gear's all right. I mean, as for fishing vests go, you're lacking a lot of pockets. Okay, but definitely one of the more wearable out in the, you know, like this has a little bit of swag to it. It does, you and that's what worries you me. You can take that out to a bar. Like, yeah, but it's that. not practical enough. You're gonna want tons of pockets for your flies. I don't get that. How do you trap flies and then put them in your pocket? Like, won't they just fly out? That's what you call fly fishing lures. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. lures. Or chopsticks. <laughs> lures, okay. It's a very normal word. You're, lures. It's like yeah. you're hearing it for the first time. Maybe I am. I'm a simple man. I'm a city boy. City boy's up. A lot. The city's up one to zero to zero. That's true. Davey's up in the stream. That's a hell of a catch. Rainbow trout don't come that size. Looks like about a, I don't know, 13-incher? Yeah. An 18-inch rainbow trout's catch of a lifetime. That's a keeper. I used to fish with my dad. And then he got lost at sea. <laughs> really? Yeah. That is fucking awesome. Did he ever find his way back? No. Oh. <laughs> That's yeah. even better. He didn't have a boat either. He just started walking. Oh, he walking tried to in, be... He walked into the ocean? Yeah. <laughs> tried to do that Jesus shit. Ah. Didn't work out. Of course not. He is not the son of God. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe um he... He turned this into bread or what, what did he, what did Jesus do? He turned turned into a fish into bong. He turned a fish into a bong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fish bong. Oh yeah. That ding, was, ding, ding. He is the most high. Jesus, we've got nothing to smoke out of. <laughs> <laughs> he also turned wine into wax at one point. Yeah, straight mm. dabs. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Blade. Young Gravy. Drake. Baby Keem, Breakins, and Quadeca. Ah, of course. I was I was teetering on that. I couldn't tell if it was that kind of like avant-garde pop stuff, but the first picture just gave me so much Blade. It did, and then I saw the second yeah, one. Yeah, same. I was gonna put Blade, but then I was like, what if I put Young Gravy? Because it was like, Blade is too obvious, you know, from the from the apparel. I was yeah. like, and Young then the fishing. That. Brad, what do you think of Drain Gang? I think the Drain Gang has its moments. Has its moments. Okay, I think our fan base will, they'll tolerate that. We got a lot of drainers in our fan base. I can definitely see that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, Mia. Ooh, I like her smile. Mia is so happy to be there, wherever I've, they are. I've never been that happy, and definitely not in like a like a concert hall. Oh no, second I'm around a lot of people, I am panicked and looking for the exit. I feel like anyone for them to be that happy has to listen to some really dark, disturbing shit. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. I feel like it might be something kind of messed up. I think I absolutely know this one. Ooh. Oh. oh, that's some satanic coloring right there. Oh, you're with Cardi B though. Is this at our show with Lil Shorty Scott? Oh yeah. I want to take a pic with Cardi B inside my cardigan. The Cardi B. And we had the Cardi B cut out and there's red lighting and I feel like we did kind of do like a Hellscape Armageddon sort of theme for yeah, that one. Yeah, we definitely did. Yeah, we sacrificed like six concert goers. And a goat. Yeah. I, just... didn't, I thought he was mid, but people yeah. kept calling him the goat. Huge glasses. Wow. Now those are some rose-colored glasses. Right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. This is like when you find out your art teacher is cool outside of school yeah, and like, is actually eccentric and not just like a failed artist. Yeah, you show up at their house and they answer the door in those and you're like, God damn it, Mrs. Cornberry. And then she goes, a little dabble do ya. She's talking about like Elmer's glue or whatever. A little dabble do ya, I'll tell you what, it'll do you in. Yeah. A little dabble do ba dee dee boo dee 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 well said, Brad. Thank you. I hit Jesus's peace and I also woke up three days later. Three, two, one. Suicide boys. Cannibal corpse. Break-ins. Taylor Swift. Motherfucker. I literally was about to write Taylor Swift, but then you said the dark and twisted thing and I was like, I gotta go there with it. <laughs> Break-ins is low-key like Taylor Swift. Honestly, not really. Yeah. Not really much like that, but definitely a star. Good hair, can. too. And great hair. All right, Mia, thank you. Thank you so much, Mia. Thank you, Mia. Jana, hope we're pronouncing that right. Yeah, I've never seen a name spelled like this. I don't like it. I like it. I don't. This is a bedroom shot, low quality, a little smile. Can we get some clues from back there? Can we get some clues from the posters? Shit on the walls. You definitely got some crafts back there, but it is tough to see. It's tough. Bangs? Yeah, bangs. Bangs are back. And baby bangs are coming. Baby bangs? It's like bangs, but it's like halfway up. It's right here. Oh, like a Williamsburg bartender. Exactly. I yeah. saw a few in Montreal, and they seem like they're ahead of us. Yeah. So, And they, it was all the bartenders in one bar all had baby bangs. And I was like, okay, baby bangs are coming back. I saw someone in Montreal with their knees pierced. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> That's yeah, horrible. Was, how so? Like, like big rings on their knees. I kind of like that. I That's don't. terrifying. That, terrifying. that scares me. You guys are such boomers. Salem shirt. There's a clue. Big clue. Boom. Witch house. She's given the, I don't really care that I'm taking a photo right now, and it's cool face, which uh -huh. I feel like also gives a very big clue. Yeah. I also feel like it's kind of subversive to have the, 
cute bubbly phone case with like the Salem shirt. Mm -hmm. And then the chain. It's like a little dinosaur maybe. Oh, it's half a teddy bear. Yeah, it's half a teddy bear. Oh, Ooh. it's like a BFF chain. Yeah, it's like a BFF chain. So somebody's got the other half of the bear. Yeah, I'm spotting a little bit of edge with some cognitive dissonance yeah. involved. Ooh, a Playboy Cardi sweatshirt. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> With another fun phone case. Yeah. I am getting mixed up here. <laughs> All black with pink. I mean, this is this is gorgeous. The aesthetic and everything, it's uh, it's really, I feel like I've got my answer. Looks like you got Sports Center on in the background, so it's a big sports fan, too. Obviously. I mean, you yeah. can tell that from just, like, the decor of the room as yep. well. You got a pink gamer chair. I'm assuming you're playing a lot of 2K. Probably, yeah, streaming Probably 2K, 2K my yeah, player. Yeah. yeah, maybe FIFA. MLB, the show. Slugfest. Slug well, that's it's a very old game. Yeah, it's old, but it's cool. It's, it's nostalgic. It's, yeah, it's you get classic. to punch people and play baseball. Yeah, What's awesome. better than that? I I feel all right. I got something that definitely matches the aesthetic. Three, two, one. Blade. I just drew a picture of her face. <laughs> I wrote Uzi. <laughs> This is Lana Del Rey. What? Wow. I wouldn't have guessed that. Okay. So, so many red herrings in that one. Playboy Cardi sweatshirt, a Salem shirt, and pink the whole room. pink room. I mean, it was, it's a tough one. I see it a little bit. Yeah. But, wow. Hey, thanks, Jana. Thanks, Jana. Oh! Killing. Killian. We get to play one of my favorite games here. Chucks or Ricks? Those are Chucks. I think they might be Ricks. They look more like, or they could be the McQueen, the Alexander McQueen ones. Killian's broke. I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute. Take the mask off. Off. What year is it? Boo! Oh, sorry. JID shirt. Makes me want to guess JID. Big fat head of hair. Oh, look at that. Wow. Damn, the hair's taking up literally like a third of the picture. <laughs> Looking like Art Garfunkel in this bitch. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. You kind of look like Ben Wallace, you know? You're not. We get a referee on this. <laughs> It's fair. Oh, okay. Yeah, you look like Ben Wallace. Whoa, it's getting bigger. <laughs> it just keeps getting bigger. This is insane. Whoa. I'm enamored. Honestly, I can't decide how I feel about Killian here, though. Killian might be a little bit of an attention whore, though. With the hair? Everyone ever is going to be like, whoa, your hair. It's like, cut it. You, you know gotta I mean? be more accepting of the people who have the skills to take all the bitches. Yeah. Take all, I don't, we don't, we shouldn't use, you know. Okay, to like uh, lure in all the bitches what into his home. What does that word mean? <laughs> lure! I am so confused. Killian's a good name. Killian, Jillian, I'm making a million. I'll never tell. No, I am not William. William, you know. Willem Dafoe. It's, yeah, it's Willem Dafoe, not mm -hmm. William Dafoe. You know Willem Dafoe can play the harmonica? Isn't a harmonica just all of the notes are in the same key, though? Yeah, but... So, like, it's, like, kind of, like, anybody can play it pretty easily? It's not easy at all. I mean, I don't know. It seems easy. You gotta, like, understand melodies, though, and, like, your breathing is very... Controlled. You ever heard Stevie Wonder play the harmonica? Okay, Stevie Wonder's a different. I'm saying that's like yeah. a virtuoso there. level. I'm saying Bob Dylan just kind of huffs and puffs on that thing and it sounds amazing. You couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know what I mean? Connor Oberst does it all over that one album. Like, people just be fucking blowing on those things. Yeah, they're awesome. I love a harmonica. I love a harmonica, too. I'm just saying it seems like one of the easier instruments to learn. Probably true. Thank you. That's all I needed you to say. Fair play. This whole, we could have skipped that whole conversation if you just said, yeah, it's easy to play. Debate is healthy. I went fishing with my dad, and he said the opposite. He said, the bait is not healthy. We shouldn't need it. It's for the fish. <laughs> it just looked so tasty. Three, two, one. I just put J-I-D. I said Red Foo or post-2010 Eminem. <laughs> I put 21 Pilots. A Tribe Called Quest. Ah, of course. Ah. He's heady and yeah. cool. Yeah. He's he loves, skateboard. He loves rap. And... Nothing's more cool than post-2010's Eminem, though. <laughs> That's true. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. To take a chance. To take a shit. Yeah. Tribe Called Quest is awesome, though. I just wanted to hate on you for picking something. Something so pretentious. You look great, Killian. Thanks for sending it in. Rach! They got an Earth shirt on, and I'm not sure if it is for the metal band Earth or, or if it's for, or, or for the planet itself. Yeah. I'm hoping it's for the metal band Earth, because that is some serious shit. Yeah. They are awesome. I still have open for Death Heaven, and I'd been listening to their albums and stuff and showed up and was like, oh my God, these guys are 60 years old. They all had white <laughs> yeah. beards and shit playing like stoner metal. And I yeah, was like, yeah, Whoa. yeah. Oh, they got some classics under their belt, though. We got a straw hat here. That's the elephant in the room. How come? It's a straw hat. Yeah, a lot of people wear straw nope, hats. No, that's not true. <laughs> not a <laughs> lot of people wear straw hats. I've seen a lot of people wear straw hats. I oh. mean, they are pretty fashionable. I would say this isn't even a straw hat. I think this is more of a sun hat situation. It's I, a sun hat to go with the earth shirt. The sun is above the earth uh, in the solar system, in the class system, too. Okay. Oh, they're doing the cute face. 
really throwing that. Oh, fit they got too. the bag. I got one of those. Uh, yeah, my fiance got me one of those. I've been using that. Stop so. bragging about being engaged. I know it's ridiculous. You know, I just I love my wife. <laughs> I just hate you talking about being in love all the time when I'm just out here fucking single and pissed off. This room looks like a mess. Not much on the walls. We got a floor mirror, bag on the floor. I mean, this is a slop house. You know what I think? <laughs> so you they you have to now post a picture of what your house looks like. <laughs> you are not allowed to criticize the rooms of other people. I kind of disagree. What it reads to me as is actually it's pretty empty for the most part with some disorganization. It comes off maybe as someone who travels. Mm, a hitchhiker, maybe. A minimalist. And they got that earth shirt on, they're trying to save the earth. Less shit. Less, less crap. Shit. Less crap yeah. in there. Your bed probably folds out of the wall or whatever. Dog time. Oh, oh the doggies. Very, very ugly dogs though, in my opinion. <laughs> Really? I hate those kind of dogs. Top left is handsome as hell. Hell no. When Fuck are you guys that. gonna do uh, Guess the Dog's Favorite Music? Guess Doggy's Favorite Treat by his, his little slobber. I did have the idea a long time ago when the, the Mom Reacts videos were coming out, mm -hmm. like Cuff Boys and all that. I was gonna do a Dog Reacts video and just like play a 6 9 music video <sighs> and like put headphones on my dog. But I wouldn't like have the music playing, whatever, and just like film it of him sitting there. He never says anything, obviously. Right. Because he never has and never will. Uh, and then I just put that video up, and it's just dog reacts to six nine Billy. That's pretty good. I think that would be kind of cool. Not I anymore. think that's the worst thing you've ever said. That's the worst thing I've ever said. That's a terrible idea, and I don't think that you should go through with that. I know it's too late now, but <laughs> I speak in the future, present, past tense. You should not go through with that. You haven't known me long enough to say that's the worst thing I've ever said. It's not. He said a lot of really bad things. He has. Wait a couple it's been hours. Very bad. Yep. Three, two, one. Elliot Smith. Twenty one pilots. Godspeed, you, Black Emperor. Remy Wolf, 100 Guests, and Dev Lemons. Oh. Oh. Great taste. Great taste. Yeah. Besides the Dev Lemons one. Come on. Ooh, that's cold. <laughs> that's our friend. That's cold, uh, get fucked, Devin. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, sorry. That's just so mean. Whatever. It's on site. Was that a threat? Was that, yeah. a, was that a Rach or Dev? Dev. Oh, okay, good. Well, <laughs> I'm still starting, not good. But I'm starting rat better. beef with Dev. Starting rat beef with Dev? <laughs> yep. I don't think I've ever heard you rap. Right now, I am. Okay, then go. <laughs> oh, you, you, no, I mean, I'm if the you're going to say right tonight. now, if you're saying right now, you better hit it right now. I'm talking. No. You got to show me what you got right you now. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my mother. You've never even met my mother. You've never even seen how I met my mother. I have seen that show, but I've also met your mother. You just no, don't know you about don't it. Know, you haven't seen you how he met his mother. Yeah, you yeah, don't even know how I met my mother. Oh. <laughs> Hospital room, 1994. Damn. I came out of her insides. That's absolutely disgusting. I don't yeah. know why anyone would do that. Everyone did it. I didn't do it. You are a test tube baby. I, I can smell it on baby. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were grown in the yeah. lab. The stench doesn't ever go away, mm -mm. unfortunately. It's disgusting. Yeah. Is that why you don't have a belly button and the whole back of your ass is just flat, no crack? <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah. Flat, no crack. I actually shit out my dick. Nice. Ah. It's less gross than coming out of someone's insides. I'd rather come in somebody's insides than out of them, you know what I mean? Hey, thanks, Rach. Great photos. <laughs> <laughs> Great yeah. taste in music Thank besides you. the dev stuff. So sorry I said all that. Alex. Oh, shit. Alex drinking that. Fucking party pop. Is by that the water. a motherfucking Bud Light? You better hope Oh, hell is. no. Tie dye bucket hat, the Vans skate highs. Looks like the canvas ones, and you have fucked them up. You wear them a lot. You were out there. I like that. This motherfucker's cool. Uh oh, we got a festy Whoa. throwing a fit at the fest. Definitely wearing Vans all the time. So you either skate or you're appropriating skate culture. Man, imagine like looking at your outfit for today and being like, yeah, I don't need a shirt. I'll wear a big scarf. <laughs> that's what a lot of people do. What are those things called? That the shawl music... or something. No, that's not. No, you're thinking of a shawl. A that's... tapestry. No, nah, there's like a word for it for people who go to music festivals a lot. My brother bought one. My really? Mom, my, uh, my, it was hanging in my parents' laundry room. Aww. He lives there. And I was like, that's weird. That's you know what I mean? Cute. Like my parents' suburban house has like his. A ketamine scarf. A ketamine scarf in there. <laughs> like, and I was like, interesting. And he tried to do plur at dinner with all of us. Jesus and I was Christ. Like, my mom was like, oh, thank you for getting me this jewelry. She didn't get it. It literally said, drugs over friends. <laughs> <laughs> this guy really likes posing in front of other people's art. Hey now. He must be like a Kid Boo fan or something. A Kid Boo fan. Yeah, Kid Boo. Is that Boo. your guess? Yeah, that's my guess, Kid Boo. Okay. Look at that gorilla. It's got one red eye. Oh, I think it's more of like a robot cyclops sort of situation. Hell no. Yeah, it's I hate that sort of shit. It's producing saliva, though. How could it be half animatronic? Ooh, that could be an artistic plot hole or that's whatever. That's true, yeah. 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 Might be a little bit of an issue with the artist's approach. I hate the matching shirt with shorts. I will say that, Alex. We just got different style, Alex. That's all it is. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and tear it apart and be like this and this and this and, you know, I'm not going to style you. 
Because that, that'll cost you, obviously. If you want me to style you, then you have to pay. I'm just going to say, hey, we got different styles, but I I appreciate and respect your... Your swag. Your vision. I absolutely disagree. I think that everything about this guy is good except for the Bud Light, which I think makes me not respect him at all. Yikes. You, know? yeah. you got to get off that train. See, man. and here's what I, I'm, I'm going to tell you this really quick. There are going to be some people out there who watch our channel who don't know who you are, and they might think you actually think that about Bud Light. He doesn't like Bud Light because it's a German company. He's been oh, all yeah, on yeah, about... Yeah how it like parades around as the American beer when really Anheuser-Busch is a German company, which is a great point, but I feel like you are like so stern on it. It's like- Hey, I'm not gonna budge on this one, I'm sorry. It's you're right. swimming in muddy water because yeah. like right now, saying you don't drink Bud Light and you wanna boycott Bud Light, right. it kinda has a different kind of <laughs> Yeah, exactly, I've been trying to tell them that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. And we're like, you know, we're big trans rights advocates, so yes. we have to say, let's drink 15 Bud Lights every night, you mm -hmm. know? But I do kind of hate the Germans. <laughs> I yeah, I hate German. Well, I don't hate Germans. I hate Germany. I hate curry versed. Mm, One of yeah. their national foods. Yeah. You don't got to put a sausage in curry sauce. And schnitzel. Yeah, I mean, we should stop eating veal altogether. I don't even care about that. I just don't think we should call it that. It's just a bit, a bit weird. It feels like I'm in like a Willy Wonka movie or something. Oh, you know? have a big schnitzel, please. Yeah, like, I'm not eating something called schnitzel. I'm sorry. I've had it before and it was good. Schnitzel is the fucking schnitzel. It is really good. <laughs> and I like what you did there. Thank you. Three, two, one. Pigeons playing ping pong. Any artist that is not Kid Rock. King Gizzard. Mac Miller. Yes. Ah, <laughs> nice, man. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, wait, wait. I got it right. Kind yeah. of cast a wide net, though. So you're saying it's not Kid Rock. It's not Kid like, Rock. And I mean, it's not Kid Rock. Yeah, that's true. It's a good guess. Thank you. I'm not going to write down a point for you, but I'm going to support the way you're playing the game. I'll accept that. I've never been, like, backed into a corner by a guest that way before. Yeah. Because I'm the one editing the video. I'm the one making the scoreboard and all that. And I really have no choice but to put one up on the board for Brad. What can I say? Wow. We really should have written out more detailed rules for the game. It's whatever. Alex, you're, you're a fly cat. Thanks. R.I.P. Mac Miller. Marcus, hey now. Let's talk about the hair. I don't even, let's uh, ignore the cat for a second. What is going on with the end behavior of this hair? You look like George fucking Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas <laughs> Jefferson looking ass. <laughs> he literally looks like a mixture of you and Ludwig. Oh yeah, it does kind of look <laughs> like that. It's like you plus Ludwig plus the movie Hairspray. I don't know who Ludwig is, so. Oh wow. Yeah, he's the guy who did the show on Twitch called Hive Mind, and we tried to set a curse on. We made a voodoo to all of him and Moist Critical. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't just don't remember what he looked like. We stomped on him. We lit him on yeah, fire. Of course. Thing. Nothing really bad happened yeah. to him. It was a bummer. Is this guy letting a cat like massage his nose? What is going on with the whole? <laughs> I think Marcus has a bloody nose and is using the cat paws to kind of plug it. That up. makes sense. Yeah. Jesus, the hair is herring. That is completely to one side. I want to draw you, Marcus. Looks like he just like finished being in a tornado. God, that's nice. Not much from that. Not much to glean Just kind from of a that. beautiful guy. Yeah. Like, hey oh. now. And then this is a different man. Yeah, this is a different man. <laughs> this is a different person under club lights. Yeah, with short ass hair. I mean, this is like you worked in finance and, and then, then you like grew all your hair out and became cool or it's the opposite. Yeah, you went on like a peyote trip and shit got different. And religious too. I bet you Marcus's family's got a cottage. I, yeah, totally. You know what 100%. I mean? 100%. Yeah. yeah. My parents had a little cheddar, but they didn't have cottage cheese. No. We couldn't afford that. Fuck we would no. go to other other people's cottages, of course. We'd yeah. ride around on the on the jet skis, but we couldn't get one of our own. Taught you how to work hard. I learned the value of a dollar early. A hundred cents. Our family didn't have no ski dudes. Three, two, one. Cardi. Waka Flocka featuring uh, Bo Burnham. Boy genius. This is Sufjan Stevens. Ah. This motherfucker looks like a Sufjan Stevens. Yeah, that makes, it, yeah. That makes sense. That makes way more sense. I was gonna guess Phoebe Bridgers, and then I was yeah. like, I'm gonna go subversive with it yeah. and say that he has like some hot take about how Cardi's actually a genius. Yeah. And sure he does. He probably still does. He's yeah. probably like, a whole lot of Reds and Masterpiece, man. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's not as good as Illinois, but. <laughs> Obviously. I really wish Sufjan had finished that 50 States project, man. I was excited to see what he would have done with Minnesota. <laughs> and right, now we got Quinn, and Quinn's got a tongue piercing. Hard to ignore. That is, yep. The eyebrows are painted on. Eyebrows are crazy. The hair is perfectly laying across the left eyeball. I think I already have an answer. You haven't even seen the other pictures, Brad. How could you possibly have an answer? It's my gut feeling. I just know. You haven't even noticed the piercing on the top right. Oh, no. That's what made me realize oh, that it was the eyebrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. That was the giveaway. Whoa, the mood has changed here. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like American Gothic vibes. <laughs> this looks like a Hieronymus Bosch painting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and oh. now we're like cheery oh. Android phone selfie. Honestly, I hate to say this. This looks like drunk driving to me. It does. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it looks like you're drunk and you're like, mm-hmm, I shouldn't be doing this. At least you get your seatbelt on. Yeah. You seem like the kind of guy when you were a kid, you'd like fuck up holidays or something. You know, actually, you're kind of right. It I, seems I like you'd throw yeah, a fit yeah. at an Easter egg hunt. Yeah, if I didn't win, I'd ruin everyone else's day. Yeah, like if your cousin got more eggs than you, you'd be like, this fucking sucks! Actually, I'd beat the shit out of him. That's the appropriate response. And you have an uncle named... Michael. No. And you have an uncle named... Alan. No. And you have an uncle named Mike. No. David. No. Harry. No. Ginsburg. How'd you know? What the fuck? I know, I'm a genius. <laughs> I just get a vibe. Ginsburg? Yeah, That's name. not even like really a first name. I know. I know. You just also said vibe. Alan earlier. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I didn't say Alan earlier. You're just going to cut it to when I say Ginsburg. What the hell? I don't want to so do that. So it makes me look like a prophet. <laughs> you need to start looking at some prophet or this thing. Is gonna... <laughs> fuck <laughs> this shit. I'm buying a boat. <laughs> you cannot buy a boat. I'm buying a boat. <laughs> you All can't right. afford a boat. Well, the business can. The business can barely afford a boat. That's a little saying. boat. We can afford a boat and sink it. You know <laughs> For I mean? insurance money? Yeah. I, yeah, that's with actually Grant a good idea. Grant, yeah, Grant's going to go down with the ship. The, yeah. I'm a pilot. The pilot the captain, always goes down with the boat. The captain always goes down with the plane. Three, two, one. Pierce the veil. Paramore. Turnstile. Playboy Cardi. Motherfucker. So this one's Cardi. Damn. That's the thing with rap these days. They look like metal fans. Yeah, Pierce the Veil's not metal. Days. Well, it sounds like it is, so. Sounds like it does to my damn ears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Quinn. Thanks, Quinn, you party monster. Paul time. Uh, Paul time. Paul, I love your shirt. I love the little horns on your hat. Oh, you just actually, you just seem like a sweetie pie. I have nothing really to say. Yeah, I gotta say his outfit isn't very appalling. It's from Hollister. That's kind of appalling fast fashion. It but, is, yeah. I will say you got a barn behind you with some fake palm trees. I don't know. That, yeah, it could just be summertime. That's a tropical palm. Like, uh, what do they call them? The king of palms or something. It's a plant you could grow. Yeah, it doesn't look real to me. Uh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Anyway. Oh, he's rich. <laughs> he's rich as fuck. He lives in like a dojo or something. <laughs> I don't think that he's rich. I'm sorry. I think he cleans up nice, but the pants show you this guy doesn't have all the money in the world. This guy's got fucking hella bands, bro. I don't think this so. This guy's absolutely fuck. loaded Those like are... a fucking loaded potato. Those are golden doors. I don't think he lives there. That's his there. fucking house, obviously. <laughs> There's literally a barricade in front of it. Yeah, it's like probably getting even... construction done. He's, he's probably literally... installing an indoor pool. He couldn't even go in there if he wanted to. There's literally a menu right there next to the doors. It's not a menu. It looks like a menu. It's probably a list of house rules. <laughs> no cursing. Take your socks off. You have to have over a million dollars in your bank account to even enter. Shit like that. I don't get the same vibe that you do. Whatever. Let's see the next picture. Yeah. Whoa. You're telling me that guy's not rich. <laughs> <laughs> He's got fucking green hair. He's so rich. He's got so much money his hair turned green. <laughs> it's a taxidermy cheetah outfit. And it's obviously an old photo because this is back when Paul had hair. I was going to say I I don't think this is Paul. I think this is a picture of Paul's grandpa when he was young to try Aww. to show that he looked just like him. <laughs> because this picture is, there's no way this was taken after 1991. 91? They didn't have the camera until 2006. You're thinking of Instagram. Well, that's the little camera on your phone. Yeah, it's not. They had cameras before that. Show me a picture then. There are literally pictures of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> that's a movie, bro. That was Daniel Day-Lewis. He was also the president in real life. That's what Daniel Day-Lewis wasn't the no, president? No, never mind. I, you know what? I'm not even going to explain shit to you. There's no point. You're a fucking idiot. Explain shit to me. I've seen the movie, bro. It's not really Abraham Lincoln. Oh, God. Go ahead. Write down G.G. Allen. I liked Abraham Lincoln. You liked him as a president or you liked the movie or what's the deal? Just liked him. Okay. The concept of Abraham Lincoln, I guess. He really did that shit. He was tall. That's what I like about him. He had a hat. <laughs> Only president with a hat. That is kind of true. Yeah. Three, two, one. Ween. King Gizzard and a wizard wizard. David Bowie. Carly Rae Jepsen. Oh, I was My close. Boy. Oh, yeah, you were, well, not really. What? Oh, I was close. What? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> oh, so close. Knocking on heaven's door there. Yeah. yeah. Major tone to Carly Rae. I'm stepping through the dough, <laughs> and I'm floating in the most mysterious way. Your breath is absolutely rancid. <laughs> yeah, I ate a mouse this morning. <laughs> <laughs> ate a mouse. Actually, it kind of ate itself. I was snoring, and it crawled right in my mouth. Came right in through the front door, and I said, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. Shout out Paul, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Paul's cool swagged pick. out. Carly Rae is one of the greatest living pop artists. Really doing it. Lizzie, whichever one you are, <laughs> either the Sandra Bullock looking mf -er in the middle, or Miss <laughs> Miss Kiss on the right, or get cropped out this mf -er on the left. 
I see, I'm getting way more like Jennifer Garner vibes. There you go. You know yeah, that's I mean? kind of what I was looking for. It's I get those like two mixed up. One of them was in the blind side. And I'm going to say something kind of mean here. But go ahead. You look like a dorky Jennifer Garner. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bit of a dork, but yep. I love dorks. I hey. think it's cute. I think this is a cute photo, yeah. All right, getting a little more here. You got a varsity jacket on, probably an elite D1 athlete. Yeah, wait, hold on. I think those are uh, Sony headphones. Okay. Those, see... That's why I know they're listening to something good over there. Right. I'm guessing Death Grips. And last one. Mirror selfie, and it looks like you could be like 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, how tall is the mirror? Yeah, like, you're leaning happening? down and it's you're still not in it. Well, D1 athlete. Exactly. It's gotta be basketball. Probably play center for UConn. Or it could be volleyball, because you need tall people at the net. Could be, could be the libero, even though they're not often tall. I thought libero was that pizza place that's inside all the truck stops. Yeah. Lizzie's from Germany. Great. Oh, that explains a lot. Lizzie's German. Brad's a germaphobe, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and there's just nothing we can do about that, but I would like to kind of keep the comments about just the pictures and stuff. We didn't have to know where Lizzie yeah, was from. Yeah. Grant gave us unnecessary information for you to build some I sort agree. of hate thing off of it. It helps, no. though. It helps to know that she's German. Absolutely. Probably likes freaky hard style music, like, <laughs> like industrial fucking noise shit where people like wear fucking clown noses and mouth gags and like fucking spots bikes on their ass or something. Do you think people judge Americans like that? They're like, oh, they're probably Forest. listening to hot dogs and, and hamburgers. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. They're yeah. listening to Kim Kardashian's ass. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they're listening to AR-15s in a high school, you know? Oh. 3, 2, 1. Echo 2K. BTS. David Hasselhoff. Pop Smoke, 21 Savage, and Lil Uzi Bird. Couldn't be more American, honestly. <laughs> they have FOMO. You are biting the style. She has so much FOMO. Yeah. She's like, I wish I could see American rappers. Yeah. Oh, we go to the disco. <laughs> <laughs> we smoke cigarettes for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the CEO of Slaughter Gang. <laughs> That's more Swedish, but you guys get it. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. Thank you, Lizzie. Oh my God. Thank you, Lizzie. Jaren. Jaren. Oh my God, he's in the WWWE. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, you got a lanyard. You got all access. You might actually be a WWE performer. This motherfucker might be a pro fucking wrestler. Fuck. Oh, I know what he listens to. Easy. Oh, Jesus Christ. John Cena. John <laughs> Cena. Oh my God, and you get oh. fucking blitz. <laughs> He's made an apology video before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I got so fucking high last night. I imagine if Jaren did a, an apology video, it would start off with like, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Like, do the whole regular intro and then go, so I have to talk about something a little bit serious today. <laughs> the comments I made about Israel and Palestine <laughs> not represent me and I realize they're insensitive. Ill-informed, honestly. I've educated myself and I will be learning and growing and I hope you guys still tune in to watch me play Fall Guys. <laughs> Later tonight, I will be live. I realize oh, now man. installing a water park is not better than a two-state solution, so. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much gonna walk back on everything I said. Oh, I don't like that. You're choking Kermit. Choking Kermit in the dark. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is that the new, like, term for... Jacking it. <laughs> yeah, sorry I'm late, guys. I was choking Kermit in the dark. <laughs> I was ringing out the old frog puppet, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's not easy being green. You want to grab that tissue box over there? <laughs> Just give me a t-shirt or something. <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. Do I get to finish, too? Three, two, one. Weezer. Kanye. Kanye. Caroline Polachek. Bullshit. Fuck that yeah, is dude. fucking awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. I begged you for much more of an intense character. Yeah. You know? Damn. Can you imagine Caroline Polachek in like a tag team WWE style kind of situation? Not at all. I can. And it's Polachek off the top rope. Oh my <laughs> God. A piercing blow. I cannot imagine that. Polachek's got a chair. No, no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she is a rail thin 37 yeah. year old woman. Vince McMahon's got Polachek by the hair. She pulls out a switchblade. Oh my God, there's blood all over the ring. Yeah. That is why you tune in to SmackDown. I don't see it. Man. No, I can see it, man. I just don't she see it. She got a special move where she just like does that whistle note, paralyzes her opponent. She goes, and they go, Ugh. welcome to her island. Polachek <laughs> is now the heavyweight champion of the world. Rick. 
Rick is a wizard or a cat or I don't fucking know what's going on here anymore. <laughs> the fuck's going on, Rick? It's like a long lost League of Legends character. <laughs> <laughs> I can I know this living room too. Oh, absolutely. Like kind of cluttered, the big lazy boy type sofa. With the cup holders in the sofa. Uh-huh. Those are my favorite. The kitchen just like kind of seamlessly bleeds right into the living room. Yeah. The kitchen's also full of shit. Oh, it has a Buckets, lot of clutter. Mail, yep. shit all over. They do not <laughs> eat at the dining room anymore. And there are the fridge is full of half finished two liters. There also is a dining room in the other room, but it's full of holiday stuff. (laughs) It's got like trick-or-treating stuff and like Easter baskets that are just like have a little bit of candy in them, you know. They kind of keep the Christmas lights up all year round. Type family, yeah. Type of family. And don't get me started on what the laundry room looks like in this house. (laughs) Mountains of clothes. (laughs) Holy fucking shit. This kind of oozes confidence in a way that I'm a little bit... Rick looks like he's in a union. Honestly, now I think Rick played baseball in high school. Yeah. And is into cars. But is also very nerdy. Oh, definitely. Super nerdy. Knows how to code. Does like, sure. but uses it for bad. Is definitely yeah. on like the deep Hacker. parts of Reddit. Shouldn't be on that part of Reddit. Yeah. This is one of the most wholesome people I've ever seen. I don't know about that. I think I know. I think so. I think the beard says I'm too uh, nice and sweet to shower <laughs> or get, you know, any sort of grooming done. I think the cat outfit says I don't care what anybody thinks of me. I'm just going to do my own thing. Uh huh. Yeah. It's the most chill shit. Possible. Oh, oh, never mind. This oh. is when he's in coding mode. Oh, no, no, yeah. <laughs> I don't. He might be in coding mode. He looks high as hell. Is that a Rick and Morty poster in the back? Because that has aged poorly, if so. Oh no, it looks more like an anime or something. Oh, that's even worse. Rick lives in Indiana too. I'm almost positive. Oh, I thought for a second there's a model plane hanging from the ceiling, oh, and that would have um, been a huge clue. Because anybody a, who builds a model plane likes cool. math rock. Three, two, one. Put Kid Cuddy. Not Kid Rock or Cuddy, but Kanye. Suicide Boys. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this whole time I thought it was King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. No, it's the Lizard Wizard. I wish it was Wizard Lizard. Why? I, I guess that. it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, there's no, like, what the hell? It's no difference. The Lizard is the Wizard at the end of the day, no matter how you say it. Or it's a wizard who turns people into lizards. You can <laughs> a Lizard Wizard that way. That's true. Or turn lizards into people and then makes them the government for the U.S. Thank you, Rick. Last one, Elise. Okay, Elise, you got a license plate. It's from Minnesota. You're in an elevator. This is a cool photo, though. It's like yeah, blown it out in all the right places. You, Yeah, it's, it's a sick-ass photo. This is going straight onto my Tinder, Hinge, Bumble, Plenty of Fish, Christian Mingle, FarmersOnly.com, and eHarmony profiles. J-Date. J-Date, sorry, I don't smoke. Grinder. Yeah. yeah, you need some. Get that weed nice and... Oh, big sloppy ice cream. Wow. Eating ice cream. Oh, and it's got all the business. I'm talking about <laughs> you got sidewalk chalk. You mm-hmm. got those tables that I love that are like the, the weird little texture. Yeah. You, know, you put your, try to put your fingers through them. They never fit, obviously, but it's like fun to do it. Could be at a fair or something. That's the vibe I'm getting. I'm getting ice cream shop in the rural suburbs, kind of a Mr. Freeze type of place. Yeah, I could see that. You I'm know, getting something that's like on the ocean. Okay. I can oh, see a that. wharf. Is that what that's called? You're getting could a wharf be. vibe? I guess. Oh, definitely high. I don't think so. I would guess maybe drunk, definitely like cheeky, funny, a cheeky yeah. chap. You know? At a show with a friend. Got a heart tattoo that says mom in it, I assume. Does it say mom? Ooh, um, creepy bald person in the background, though. I wouldn't call him creepy. I, think I would. Bald. You just don't like bald people. <laughs> also, rose-colored glasses. We I need to take those off, people. Start looking at the world for what it really is. <laughs> it's easy to watch our show and think everything's all honky-dory. And yes, I mean honky like it's two white guys, but mm-hmm. um, but it's not. There's a lot of dark shit going on. And you need to pay attention to it. Three, two, one. Joyce Manor. DJ Khaled. Bob Dylan. The 1975, SZA, The Weeknd, and Mac Miller. Oh, mm. Close. That was my first guess, 1975. I don't really? Know. Yeah, yeah. But then I went with DJ Khaled because I thought it was, you know, a more universal pick because he is the best. Yeah, he is. Yeah, and I've, we always get a ton of DJ Khaled on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I got stuck on the heart tattoo thing because uh, Joyce Manor has a song called Heart Tattoo. Yeah, you did. You and that's really, that. that's the whole that's the whole reason I guessed it. I got hung up on Minnesota. Oh, like Minnesota. That's why I guess Bob Dylan. Shout out Elise. Shout out everyone who sent in photos today. It's so good to have this game back. Brad, thanks for joining us. I hope you had a good time. I had a great time. Thank you for having me, both of you guys. Of course. Thanks for coming. Subscribe to Brad Taste in Music. It's going to be linked in description. And again, if you want to be in this game in the future, join our Patreon and join our Discord with the Patreon role, and we'll send you how to do it. Oh, and that makes you like the video, blah, blah, blah. I did not say the beginning and grade now, but you tell them some advice. Inside every turtle is nature's greatest secret. What's in there? I guess I don't right. really. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right, this has been High Mind Unlimited. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.
Brad loves the baby. That's true. I love the baby. <laughs> Shit, motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you.